a drink that defined a season, an infamous quote-unquote pork sandwich, and sliders so lovable they inspired a movie franchise. Fast food lovers everywhere can't get enough of these fan favorites. McDonald's all-day breakfast was an astounding home run for the company, contributing to a 35% jump in profits. According to the Washington Post, all-day breakfast landed in McDonald's franchises all over the country in 2015, featuring mouth-watering breakfast faves like McMuffins, McGriddles, Big Biscuit sandwiches, and fresh steaming coffee. Despite all-day breakfast's popularity, the chain halted service during the COVID-19 pandemic as a way to simplify and expedite drive through traffic. Tragically, there doesn't seem to be any real sign that McDonald's all-day breakfast will be making its big post-corona comeback. As CNBC notes, a since-deleted tweet set the rumor mill ablaze with the hope that we'd soon see midday McGriddles in our future, but it doesn't seem to have any objective validity. Until then, hungry patrons will have to keep their fingers crossed and get their McBreakfasts before 11 a.m. Krispy Kreme's original glazed donuts offer the twin benefits of being tasty as all get out and giving you that unique olfactory o face the second you smell them. Mmm, donuts. <laughs> It's the irresistible scent that most people associate with glazed Krispy Kremes, as well as the unique combination of fluffy light dough and melting sugar glaze that gets the customers running when that hot now sign lights up. Krispy Kremes original glazed donuts are akin to fluffy clouds of sugar-coated goodness, and some viewing windows let customers peep their crave-worthy donuts as they slip through the glaze itself. Krispy Kreme is always looking for ways to up the yum factor, like combining the taste of these rings of gold with premium ice cream. Whether you opt for a frozen treat or stick true to the original, Krispy Kreme's original glazed donuts are a shining example of confectionery imagination and a true American staple. Popeye's chicken sandwich helped the fast food company increase sales by 38% in the latter part of 2019 before taking a small dive in 2020. Although Popeye's took a slight hit during the pandemic, it was a comparably small drop considering the massive blow delivered to much of the restaurant industry. Ultimately, we can crunch the numbers and speculate that Popeye's was able to stay above board thanks in part to its iconic sandwich. Popeye's sandwich is so delicious thanks to a few simple but scrumptious components that that all work together harmoniously for the ultimate taste experience. A soft brioche bun, crispy, juicy chicken, and plenty of pickles make up the bulk of the sandwich. Slather on some sauce and you've got yourself a true winner. Burger King's Whopper is the fast food behemoth's most recognizable signature offering, enjoying a prominent place on BK menus since its 1957 debut. The Whopper was Burger King's spectacular answer to McDonald's tiny hamburgers, giving the public more beef and toppings for their bucks and taking off like wildfire. The Whopper's appeal is undeniable, a delicious, flame-grilled burger piled high with veggies, sauce, and cheese, and for a while, that combination dominated the fast food burger world. Unfortunately, Burger King has made some tone-deaf missteps with its Whoppers recently. However, despite these shortcomings, Burger King has a plan to make you fall for the Whopper again. The company wants to remind hungry customers that the Whopper is both flame-grilled and customizable. Plus, vegetarians can get their Whopper fix too, thanks to the popular Impossible Whopper. There's no finer marriage made in confectionery heaven than a cold, carbonated glass of root beer crowned with vanilla ice cream. A&W restaurants may not have invented this treat, but one could argue the chain did perfect it thanks to a base of exceptional root beer laced with cane sugar and spices. Add in vanilla soft serve, and you have a chilly, spicy, creamy treat that transcends ages. A&W restaurants sometimes celebrate National Root Beer Float Day with complimentary floats and donations to the Wounded Warrior Project. This fusion of charity, Americana, and good old-fashioned ice cream paired with spicy and sweet root beer is a hit with A&W franchises and patrons. Whether it's National Root Beer Float Day or not, you can always stop into a restaurant, belly up to the counter, and order a sky-high vanilla-topped root beer float anytime. According to Taco Bell, the idea for Nacho Cheese Doritos Locos Tacos started with a beautiful dream. That dream eventually morphed into a delicious reality that quickly won over fans and became a game changer in the world of fast food. Nacho Cheese Doritos Locos Tacos were a bit of a Hail Mary pass for the at one time struggling fast food giant, but one that certainly paid off handsomely. It's certainly hard to argue with the concept. You combine two of America's favorite comfort foods, crunchy, spice-heavy Doritos, with meaty, 
cheesy, sour cream topped taco fixins, and you're bound to have a winner. Plus, according to Taco Bell's website, you can customize your order with extra jalapenos, sauces, or even steak to make it extra super special. The chain eventually added more Dorito flavors, like Fiery and Cool Ranch, which occasionally grace the menu too, so you can customize your experience with different mouthwatering shells. White Castle sliders are such a legendary food that the quest for them has inspired popular movies like Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle. Head over to White Castle. It's what you crave. So what makes it so iconic exactly? According to White Castle, the original slider was the first fast food burger out there, first appearing in 1921. And it's estimated that approximately 1.4 million sliders are served every day. In addition to the iconic original slider, White Castle rolls out new variations from time to time, including a barbecue bacon slider and a peppery ghost slider. Although Pizza Hut's pizzas have undergone plenty of transformations across the ages, there's one standout item that bookworms who grew up in the 1980s will remember, personal pan pizzas. Pizza Hut teamed up with Book It to inspire 1980s kids to read. The concept was simple, brilliant, and designed with total kid appeal in mind. Book It founder Bud Gates told kids that if they read books, they'd get their own personal pizza to enjoy and a legion of literary and hungry bookworms were born. Book It is still going strong, and millions of kids still participate in the program, but for the inaugural batch of kids in the 1980s, the pairing of Pizza Hut and Judy Bloom books is a cheesy, nostalgic dream served in a sizzling hot personal pan iron skillet. Sonic's sweet, sassy, and slightly sour cherry limeade is one of the chain's most popular items. The secret is the fusion of fresh lime juice and sweet cherries over what Sonic calls its, quote, famous ice. It's an epic, refreshing, and totally unique combination that is a must-savor next time you're at Sonic. It's also a welcome diversion from your usual gas station fare. The cherry limeade is so intensely popular that Sonic is now making it available outside its locations. According to QSR Magazine, you can enjoy frozen and ready-to-drink versions of cherry limeade and some of Sonic's other top offerings, like ocean water. If you're looking for utter decadence in a hamburger, we humbly offer you Wendy's Baconator. This towering, heart-stopping stack of patties, cheese, and plenty of bacon might not fit in with your diet plans, but it's a crave-worthy snack that puts Wendy's on the map for thinking outside the conventional burger box. The original Baconator spawned a cottage industry of artery-clogging offshoots, like Baconator fries or the Baconator breakfast sandwich. There was even a spicy Baconator. Omitting all healthy vegetables, the original Baconator had six thick slices of bacon and a hearty smear of both ketchup and mayonnaise to really crank the calorie count up. When it comes to outrageous and delicious options, Wendy's certainly went the extra mile with this one, and it paid off. In the first two months after launching, Wendy's sold 25 million Baconators. When deciding whether to go bun-free, KFC doubled down on the latter with its short-lived, legendary sandwich featuring two pieces of cheese, two pieces of bacon, and two pieces of chicken. So long, bun! Like Wendy's infamous Baconator, this sandwich is pure hedonism, giving eaters the satisfying crunch of fried chicken, melty cheese, and plenty of crisp bacon in every bite. The Double Down pops up from time to time, most recently in Toronto, Canada, but you can also find it in far-reaching places like South Africa, Australia, and Japan. Talk about your crispy fried chicken, cheese-coated global domination. We bet that you can hear the jingle in your head right now. Subway's $5 footlong was a tasty sensation with a great theme song and a reasonable price tag. Subway launched its titular $5 deal in 2008, right in the heart of the mid-aughts recession. These $5 sandwiches were music to hungry and frugal customers and helped the franchise itself net nearly another $4 billion in revenue. The promotion, marketing, and ad campaign were remarkably successful but put actual franchises in a bit of a bind sticking them with higher sandwich-making costs and the mandate to sell more $5 Sammies. Plus, the international chain got into some hot water when their footlong sandwiches came up short, measuring in under 12 inches. 
Dairy Queen's Blizzards come in a dazzling array of different flavor combinations and is easily one of the chain's most recognizable and beloved treats. Dairy Queen first launched the Blizzard back in 1985, and according to a vintage New York Times article from the era, it was a hit the following summer. The New York Times lauded Dairy Queen's Blizzard as one of the best-selling fast food items in the summer of 1986. The article noted that the chain projected that 175 million blizzards would sell across its 4,000-plus stores. Dairy Queen's Blizzards hit the right combination of tasty soft-serve vanilla ice cream and toppings, a combo copied but never fully perfected by the likes of the McFlurry. Now, with tons of different flavors, everyone can customize their Blizzard fix. From 1980's staple to perennial summertime classic, the Blizzard lives on and probably will for many summers to come. Pumpkin Spice Latte! High five it! Of all the foods on our list, the Pumpkin Spice Latte, or PSL, is one of the most legendary. To say that Starbucks started a movement with its PSL is an understatement, as these drinks have come to define sweater weather with their unique mixture of autumnal spices, milk, and fresh hot coffee. Add whipped cream if you're sassy, lace up your Uggs, and you're ready to hit the pumpkin patch. Pumpkin Spice Lattes jolted Starbucks into infamy immediately, generating a buzz that resulted in over six times the amount of usual Starbucks-related internet chatter. The McRib is back. The McDonald's McRib is a saucy little square of porky goodness, barbecue sauce, and plenty of toppings. Although plenty of people love the McRib, it's also got some detractors. If you're not sure what camp you fall into, we'd suggest not taking a peek behind the McRib-making curtain. For the rest of us, the McRib represents a salty, saucy little slice of heaven that first debuted in 1981. The McRib was widely unsuccessful upon its first rollout, but the company kept trying, and eventually it caught on. One of the key reasons why the McRib is so popular is that you never know when or where you're going to find it. Every few years or so, McDonald's rolls out another iteration of the McRib, delighting fans and tearing up Redditors who claim, the glorious and terrible McRib is back. Canadian-born coffee and donut sensation Tim Hortons has found a way to capitalize on its popular donut flavors and give consumers the option to chow down on a bunch of them all at once. Meet Timbits, tiny, two-bite spheres packed with classic donut tastes that you can get in 10 or 20 packs. Most locations will even let you customize your Timbit selection so you can try some of those wacky new flavors without committing to a whole donut. Timbits are so popular that in 2022, Tim Hortons even designed a promotional pool float shaped like a box of the balls of fun. Although these wee Timbits might look adorable and youthful, they're actually fast approaching middle age at 46 years old. They're also so intensely popular that a line of all of the Timbits ever eaten would reach the moon several times. 